Hi everyone, this is English teacher Louise. Thanks for listening. Today I'm going to talk again about the English vowels, but this time I'm just going to talk about the actual letters A, E, I, O and U. And I'm going to tell you that in English each of these vowels has a short pronunciation and a long pronunciation. So this is something that many people find confusing or difficult when they start speaking English, especially if they're living in an English speaking country. They know that A can sometimes be A and sometimes A. Um, sometimes E sounds like E, but sometimes it sounds like E. Sometimes I sounds like E, but at other times I. So when is it short and when is it long? Or, or what's going on here basically? So today I'm going to talk about the short and long pronunciations of A, E, I, O and U. Now this is really helpful for people, especially if in your first language you only have one pronunciation, which is pretty common for all of the vowels. In most European languages, for example, if you speak Spanish or if you speak Czech or um, perhaps Serbian, you are probably familiar with the fact that A, E, I, O and U are pronounced A, E, I, O and U. And usually, no matter where they are in the word, English is a little bit more complicated. But it's not that difficult. So again, I'm going to tell you about the, the most common pronunciations of A, E, I, O and U in English, the short way and the long way. Okay. In the next video, I'll then talk about how the English spelling tells you whether you should pronounce those vowels in a short way or a long way. Okay. So let's get into it today. So excuse me if I look to the side, I'm reading some example words for you. So in English, each of the vowels has at least one short and one long pronunciation. So remember that the sounds in this video are what are generally the case in English. Generally. Of course, there are always variations, there are always accents. Just like in your first language, people speak differently depending on which part of the country they're from or which country they're from. The same happens in English. So what I'm talking about is just what generally happens most of the time in most varieties of English. Of course, there will be variations depending on the accent of the person and where they are from. Um, my accent is an Australian accent in it. It's a standard Australian accent um, and it's similar to a standard British accent in some ways in that, for example, I wouldn't pronounce the R in the way that someone from most parts of North America would. So, of course, I have an accent but still I think that I speak in a clear way and I'm able to be understood by my students from around the world and from English speakers around the world. Okay, so here we go. We're going to talk about the short A, E, I, O and U. Remember I mentioned that in your first language you might be familiar with A, E, I, O and U being pronounced A, E, I, O and U. Okay, what you've got to be aware of is that in English they're slightly different, especially the A and the U. The short sounds are different um, and it's really good to try to practice saying these sounds as an English native speaker would so that people can understand you. If you say a vowel slightly incorrectly it can be difficult for people to understand a word just like, for example, if I was saying in Spanish casa, which means house, if I said cusa, change the vowel, people wouldn't know what I was saying in Spanish. Do you see what I mean? So 
Pronouncing the vowel is an important part of helping people understand you. The short sounds in English are actually a, e, i, o, and a. Okay, so again, I will say those short sounds a, e, i, o, and a. These are represented in the International Phonemic Alphabet, the IPA, as a, e, i, o, a. Those are the symbols there on the screen. So learning those really helps because if you're not sure of the pronunciation, you can check in a dictionary and if you know how to pronounce those sounds, then you can read uh, the phonemic transcription of the word in a dictionary. So anyway, as I said, notice that the E, I and O are probably okay for you. E, E, O. Okay. But the A is not A as it is in many European languages. It's A. So in many European languages, the A is pronounced A. So andar in Spanish, for example. Amar, to love. In English, the A, the short A is A. So do you see the difference? A. In English, A. So what you have to do in English is you have to pretend to smile and open those lips a little bit wider and make sure your chin doesn't drop as much. In the A, it drops. Look, A. But English is A. A. So try to remember that. So you will have words like um, at and cat, not ut and cut. Okay. Um, if you have cut, it's actually a different sound. So, so again, the short a is a. So we have at or cat. Short e, like I said, I think is straightforward for you guys. E. So egg and went. Um, short I is probably easy for you too. It's I. It's pretty standard. So I, in, interesting. Okay, there's two I's in interesting. Both short. Um, o should be okay for you too. It's on, off, orange. Okay, O. Okay, that's cool. Now look at U is not U as it may be in your first language. So if you didn't know anything about English and you saw the word up, U-P, you, you would naturally say oop, right? But in English, it's an ah. Uh. So do you notice that that is probably the way that you pronounce your A in your first language? But that's the short U in English, okay? So up and under, okay? So those are the short sounds. A, E, I, O, A. So A, cat, E, egg, I, interesting, O, orange, A, up. Okay, so those are the short pronunciations of the vowels in English. But we also have a long pronunciation for each of the vowels. So the long pronunciation is A, E, I, O, and U. Do you hear that it's the same as the names of the letters themselves? So that's a nice little tip for you. Um, when um, a word contains a long A, you pronounce it as if it's the letter A, the name. So for example, ate, I ate some cake. See, it's A. The sound is A. Um, now, by the way, eight is pronounced differently in some accents in England. Um, but the, the standard long pronunciation is eight. Okay. So um, the, the long sounds in English are represented by these IPA, International Phonemic Alphabet, symbols A, E, I, O, and U. Okay, so let's look at some examples. 
A, as I said before, eight, and Kate. Okay. Um, e, Eve, and Peace. I, Ice, and Fine. O, Open, and Phone. And U, University, and Unit. Now, because many of you in your first language don't have these long vowels, it takes a lot of practice to pronounce them in a long way. When you're living in an English-speaking country, you might often hear people asking you, sorry, sorry, sorry. Sometimes it's because you're pronouncing the vowel too short. People don't catch what you're saying. So if you said, um, for example, unit, unit, people would say, sorry, you need to emphasize that long sound, unit. Don't be afraid to lengthen it, to exaggerate it. You might think it's exaggerated, but I think that people will understand you. So try to exaggerate those long sounds and remember that the sounds are the names of the letters. So I'm going to go through now some more examples contrasting the short and the long for each of the letters. So you can really hear that difference. I wonder if you might be able to already see, when you look at these examples, the pattern of spelling that English uses to differentiate short and long. Many times I tell my students about this pattern and they say that they've never learnt it, that no English teacher has told them. So I'm really happy to tell you this because it does help you know how to pronounce uh, the letters um, when you're not sure if it's short or long but that's going to be in the next video for now I'm just going to read the examples and you see if you can see the pattern also listen to the difference between short and long okay so let's um, look at a the short some examples of short pronunciation at mat cat apple application Andrew ecstatic, tablet. I'll read them again. At, mat, cat, apple, application, Andrew, ecstatic, tablet. So remember, try to smile when you're saying A to, rem to remind your face to do that A ah sound, not A. Ah. If you say, for example, if you do an ah uh, as you would in your first language in cat, you can see that you would end up saying cut, which means to cut in English. It's a different word, it's not cat. If you say I have a cut, that means maybe you have cut on your um, skin or you have cut a piece of paper. It doesn't mean a cat, the animal. Okay, so be very aware of that ah uh, ah. Uh. That comes up all the time with words like um, hat and hut um, and it can be very difficult to hear that difference at first um, you've got to train your ears okay so those were the short pronunciations of a a here are some examples of the vowel being pronounced long eight mate kate shape weight and table okay so you hear those long sounds. E, let's move on to E. I'll read the short sounds first and then the long. Okay, so egg, excellent, scent, went, and relent. Egg, excellent, scent, went, relent. Okay, and the words with the long E, Eve, Steve, peace, believe, sleep. If you say a short sound in, for example, sleep, and you say slip, that means something different in English. That means to fall over. To um, If there's something wet, you might slip on it. Okay, so be aware of the difference. There is, There are so many words in English where the difference is just that short or long pronunciation to make a completely different word. Okay, let's look at I now and some examples of using the short I. In, interesting, 
instruction, silver, and sing. And I'll read those again. In, interesting, instruction, silver, and sing. Some examples using the long I. Ice, fine, time, line, sublime. I'll read them again. Ice, fine, time, line, sublime. Okay, now let's move on to O. So I'm going to read the words with the short O. On, off, sock, shock, clock. Some more, or oh, once again. On, off, sock, shock, and clock. Okay, and now with the long O sound. Over, open, ocean, tone, phone, and zone. And again, over, open, ocean, tone, phone, and zone. Okay. If you said zon, people wouldn't understand what you're saying. You need to say zone, generally. And the last one, you. Remember that it's not u. It's a. Uh. So up, under, umbrella, understand, suction, brush. And again, up, under, umbrella, understand, suction, and brush. And the long sounds, university, union, universal, uniform, unit, and rejuvenate. And again, university, union, universal, uniform, unit, and rejuvenate. Okay, so again, I hope that helped with um, the pronunciation of the vowels in English and the short and long equivalents. I'm curious as to whether you saw the pattern of English spelling between the words with a short vowel sound and the words with a long vowel sound. I think you should have a look. In the next video, I'll talk about that pattern. I hope this helped. Thanks. Bye.